Now, as many of you probably know, the UK is a pretty depressing place. Grey skies, grey buildings, brown river. It's not the best experience. But thankfully, we have had someone try to save us from the impending grey skies, and that is the Willy Wonka world in Glasgow. Now, this thing has been all over the news because they were charging £35 to enter to basically go into the back rooms. I, I mean, look at these pictures. How did they get away with this? What? There is nothing there. You go inside to get like a, a quarter cup of lemonade and some jelly beans, and then you get to go on the bouncy castle. This is further proof that the UK is probably some kind of like satirical dystopia, and going through this was just a gold mine. So have you guys seen the AI Willy Wonka attraction? This is apparently a thing that was going on in Glasgow in Scotland. And it was so big, I saw like ITV News talk about it, which is like one of the biggest news companies. I was sat there with my uh, my mom and dad just like watching it. I was just like, what the hell? How is this even being covered on news? Police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after family showed up to an empty warehouse. The event reportedly charged $40 for entry, advertised with AI art, and said it would be a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. Kids were all dressed up and crying, waiting for what they thought was going to be a magical experience. Now, do you see something wrong with this? This is all AI. How can you tell? Because the hands, it's always, it's always the hands. Yeah, so you can see the AI art here. It just looks absolutely terrible. Like what, what is he holding in his hand? That looks like a TNT detonator. That actually looks awful. That does not look like Wonka Land. That looks like that looks like uh, Alice McGee's Alice in Wonderland, like the horror one. And that was it. That is it, really. That was it. Forty dollars for entry. Apparently, there's a website. Let's let's look at the website. Oh my God, this looks awful. Indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before. They literally just used like Dali AI to generate all this. Enchanted Garden. There's no pictures. There's absolutely no pictures. You just used AI generated, you generated an AI image. Imagination Labs. Prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle. Yeah, it definitely looks like a visual spectacle. Twilight Tunnel. Captivating entertainment. Is that colossal as crazy? Bro, 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 bro. They used AI to describe the words. Look at this. Look, look. This isn't even English. Cat, gat. That's meant to say captivating. Live perform. Uh, you got the R and the M just bleeding into each other there. Karchi, t Karchi tons. Okay, you get Karchi tons. I might be going. X R Sadre lollipops. X is Sadre lollipops. A paradise of sweet teats. A paradise of sweet teats. Okay, that's why the police shut it down. And apparently, it's in Box Hub Warehouse in Glasgow. And the duration is 45 minutes to an hour. And apparently as well, there's some pictures of the inside. Let's have a little look. No way. I'm actually in awe of how grim this is. There's no way. Bro, it looks like an SCP laboratory. How did they get away with this? What? What? That is literally, they got an image printed out on the wall. And they called that an experience. Why, why is there a queue system here? Why is there a queue system to stand in front of a picture? That is, that is crazy. Someone in chat said insomnia. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, okay, guys. I have to make a, uh, I have to make a, a little admission here. Uh, this is actually the insomnia meet and greet that I'll be doing in March next month. This is it. This is all you're getting. You, you pay to get in. You pay to get in. This is all you're getting. This is all you're getting. Oh my God. She looks miserable, bro. She looks so depressed. That poor woman. What is this? Is this like Walter White's meth lab? They never had this in Willy Wonka. There's no way. None of the props even make sense. You know that they just bought all of that. What was the budget? Was it just like a handshake or something? This has to be a bit, right? Now, apparently, which is really weird, apparently on the website, it's registered by House of Illuminati. Yeah, House of Illuminati is the organizer. That's weird. That is very strange. They, they got an Instagram account. No posts. 169 followers. Event planner. We plan and produce the most spectacular events. What event did you plan? 
There's no event here. That is crazy. Let's pull up their website. Let's do a little bit of digging. Oh my God, it's still more AI. It's still AI. Welcome to House of Illuminati, a realm where fantasy and reality converge to create unparalleled immersive experiences. Do you have any examples? Bro, this has to be a scam, right? This has to be a scam. There is literally no, you've used AI art for everything. You don't even, what events? There's no events. It's all AI art that you've just generated. Careers, oh my God, imagine. Imagine if you got if you got a career at House of Illuminati. Like if YouTube falls off, I'll know where to go. What to expect at Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Okay, so that is the lowest quality image I've ever seen in my life. What is wrong with that image? Is this the world's worst Willy Wonka experience? Parent fury after immersive Charlie and the Chocolate Factory event turns out to be a tiny bouncy castle, small lollipop, and a single, a single umpa lumpa. What, 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 what? That, 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 there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing. Oh my God. Dude, this is like the happiest. This is like the best event. This is like in this is like insomnia in Scotland. The, what are they doing? This looks terrible. Police were called, and it was cancelled halfway through. That poor, poor Jenny Fogarty. That poor, poor woman. She will actually never live this down. How does it look like City Seventeen? What did they do? 35 pound to basically go into like an air silo. 35 pound to go into like a, a waiting room at an airport. That is insane. A universe where your dreams come true. Like are that many people in Scotland just on hard drugs that they'll, they'll, they'll just think they get high and they can just walk around anywhere? A near empty factory with a few Wonka themed props and small bouncy castle. That is insane. Dreams become reality. Oh, she looks so miserable. I do, I do feel sorry for her. I do feel sorry for her. That is bad. Where is the Wonka experience? You literally just have like, like, like a little rainbow, little sad rainbow over there. Someone in chat said PS5 event, PS5 launch event. <laughs> PS5 launch event. <laughs> Guys, we've got this amazing console. It runs Netflix very well. You can even get Spotify working on it. Uh, games? What, what games? One parent wrote on social media, one absolute shambles of an event took two minutes to get through and then a queue of people surrounding the guy running it complaining. It's just like, it's, it's like the behind the scenes of a stage play for like kids. Like all the, all the little props they used and stuff. Like what? You can't just get a bunch of random props, place them around. I mean, bro, it looks like Gmod Prop Hunt. What is this? Oh, this, this, that's, that's so bad. That is so bad. They posted an image saying it's all coming together nicely. What is? Someone said the Atomic Heart DLC. That I would rather play that again than go to this. I would rather play that again than go all the way up to, to fucking Scotland and then sit around here. I well, got a bar at least. I can go cope, drink my sorrows away. Exclusive, you've scammed kids. I'm not surprised. Two bouncers. They bought flanked by two bouncers. The event company's director. He had bouncers at a kid's event because he knew it was going to go that badly and it was basically a scam. He paid £35 and he had bouncers. There's no way. Bro literally rented like a, a two by four room. He put in a potted plant, a rainbow, and then like uh, he opened like a bag of, of like jelly beans, put them on the floor. And he's like, yep, come in, 35 pounds. How Billy Cool conned kids by using AI generated images to sell immersive experiences. Chat GPT authored novels. He used Chat GPT to write himself novels that he sold on Amazon. Hello there folks, it's BC Christian here with thesecretdesign.com. I hope you're all well, but anyway, the reason why I'm doing this quick Twitter video is because I've just learned this great product, really exciting. It's a five ebook series. E -book. to becoming financially free why do they do this they all do this they all do this and the book is just going to be about drop shipping you know it is it's like uh, 
drop shippers should be lined up against a wall and they should be uh timed out for five minutes like like they, they i every time every time that is a new low so instead of drop shipping you're now using ai to tell you how to drop ship becoming financially free oh yes it's it's very same and, and this fine books <laughs> all right like i i found this like i found this book to be like financially Please. free like i found this book I wrote it myself in chat GPT. Ignore the fact I'm in a cat's house behind me. I'm completely fine, actually, free. I really Don't care. How that you can become financially free is going to... He looks like he's in a prison cell. Like, what are you talking about being financially free? People really don't want you to, to know. And it's going to really They don't want you, you to know. How that you can become financially free is going to show you the rules of becoming financially free. But... <sighs> Stop saying it! it! He's just saying um, the same thing over and over. A special trial offer. A trial you offer. Can test these products, right? For 30 days. Buy a ticket to me Wonka World. For two pound, two dollars. Two dollars, which is two less dollars. than a cup of coffee. Right? A cup $2, of coffee. 30 day trial. Okay. He's got me hooked. Free. How good's that sound? He's got me hooked. So, my friends, the link is somewhere on, on the Twitter, whatever it is. It's a bit LY link. Get yourself there. There's a video on there as well that will give you a brief introduction and all this sort of stuff. So my friends, get yourself there now. I don't know how long this £2 trial offer is going to last, but it's very exciting to see. They always do that. They always do that, and I hate them for it. I'm going to teach you how to be financially free, donkey. Hey, donkey. I don't want to get Princess Fiona anymore, donkey. I want to be financially free, donkey. It's like, wrap it up. Wrap it up. And they always do that thing where it's like, I, I don't know how long this offer's gonna last for. Like, you do, it's never going to go away. You're just trying to have, like, FOMO feeling of missing out. So they buy into your, like, stupid scam. Bro said $2. So, my friends, get yourself off now. Don't be delaying because it's limited for the first... Can you see him? Like, he's panicking. His hands tweet. I, I, I need you to buy the offer. You will buy the offer now. 20, 30 people. Th that's all. 20, 30 people are going to get the £2 trial offer, right? And if you check back tomorrow, the, the, the trial offer will be gone. <laughs> so this £2, $2. You, you, got, you got to buy it now. It's never coming back. You got to buy it now. Uh, you don't get it. A £2 trial offer. It's never trial coming offer. back. First 30 people. Okay. Done. First 30 people. He just made that number up in his head, guaranteed. He's like, oh, 30 people. Right. So he has been using chat GPT to sell novels. A brand called Santa's Grotto. He has published 17 novels. Bro's got Stephen King beat. He's been doing chat GPT novels. He's the director of House of Illuminati. This is why AI is so dangerous, because it actually tricks people into thinking morons are actually like giving good experiences that is like like this guy would never have any grounds to stand on but those parents like they see the website and they probably think like oh hey, he's a good artist i bet he drew all that himself eh let's go down to wonka world kids 35 quid to get scammed that's mental i'm gonna see if there's any tiktoks on this because usually you get all that shit on tiktok i think there's a couple here i think there's a couple here we can look at Ooh. oh that's just the actual pictures as well there's got to be more of it right Oh, the oh, these were the actual promo pictures. They don't look too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of uh, they, they don't look too bad. Oh my god, where is that? Is like they didn't even like try. Just an, a, a sad AC unit is probably gonna like fall on some child sat there right above the bench. By the way, very safe. Just a bunch of benches. This is like a this is like a waiting room. It's like a waiting room for people w when they get put in prison. When their like significant other comes out to like speak to them. That is just What is that? Just piss? Like the... <laughs> This is actually worse than Dashcon. Oh, speaking of Dashcon. Yep. Ah, oh, it's just so bad. It's so bad. If they called it like the liminal spaces event, it would actually make sense. But that is just like Of course the guy wrote ChatGPT novels. Of course he did. Apparently, he apologized. He apologized. Oh, boys, we might be getting... We might be getting that refund! We might be getting that refund! Surely he gives that refund. Imagine he apologizes. It's like, no, I can't do refund, sorry. The experience took place February 24th. The immersive event was a failure. £35 for tickets. That's insane. If that's per person, that is awful. 
He told the publication, I'm really shocked that the event had fallen. I, I'm shocked that the event had fallen short. I'm shocked. Wait, you can't make AI in real life? But the website looks so good, guys. What? What do you mean they don't like the funny mushroom for 35 and, and the bouncy castle for 35 pounds? There was every intention to hold the event from the pictures despite not being in the best light. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there was every intention to hold the event. Unfortunately, there was unforeseen circumstance. Bro is pulling a G-man. Bro is saying unforeseen consequences like, like as a way to get out. That is crazy. That makes zero sense. There, the, these issues were, were technological in nature. What does that mean? These issues were technological. What does that mean? We had ordered holographic paper. Oh, the, the holographic paper. Oh my God. That's why it all fell apart. Oh my God. That makes sense. Okay. So the event would actually have been completely baller. And like everyone in Scotland would have gone to it. It would have been like the best event ever. It would have been, 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 been it would have been better than the Wonka film. But the holographic paper didn't arrive, guys. It actually hey, makes Baro. sense. Once again, I apologize to everyone for the sheer and utter disappointment. I'm deeply disappointed. Does he only know like two words in his vocabulary? Why were the police called though? I can imagine like one of the Scottish parents like, Hey, you, you, you scammed us. I'm calling the police. I'm not, I, I, you give me my money back. Look at that. Look at that. Where is the experience? 35 quid. Why would you even open it, bro? Why would you even open it? These poor, like, bro, like, you know what this is going to do? The Americans, right? And everyone in Europe, they're going to use this against us because the UK has such, like, a meme going around that it is a depressing, sad country to live in. This does not help! We're using this? Like, like, like imagine, you work, like, a long week. you got a family, you got a wife, you got kids, and the little kid's tugging your arm. Yeah, we got to Wonka World. It's like, shut the fuck up. But, all right, fair enough, I'll take you to Wonka World. 35 quid, whatever. Makes the family happy. Shuts the wife up, whatever. You go in. That's it! it, it it's like queuing up at an airport. You get a bench with, like, flavoured piss. And then a bouncy castle. Like, bro, the UK fell off. We fell off so much. Oh, let's see this. Actually, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Farmers thinking they are Scottish, so they kind of deserve it. They kind of deserve it. Not fully. Maybe a little bit. My heart sank. It was. It wasn't even like fear. It was just. I just felt sad because I was aware of how many kids were going to be coming through. Wait. Why is he? Why is his? Why is his? Slop boy. Why? Why is his name actor? Paul Connell actor. Was he like paid to do this interview, or was he like an umpa lumper? He might have been an umpa lumper. Poor guy. I was aware of how many kids were going to be coming through, um, and like just looking around the place and just being like, this is. This is terrible. Like, um, you know, we, we were told to... Look at that! Look at that! It's just a white wall! It's the back rooms! Like, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. And then they just put two posters on and called it a day. They spelled shop wrong! They did sweet shoppy. They did all this in AI, bro. They did all this in AI, and they didn't even try and edit the image. Sweet shoppy. Sweet shoppy. It's I, don't, I can't. This I can't. Is this terrible. is terrible. Like, um, you know, we, we were told this is literally... to have a couple of jelly beans and a quarter cup of lemonade. So now we're rationing them. Not a cup of lemonade, a quarter cup of lemonade. Because they were that stingy, they didn't even want to run to the Tesco and get another bottle of lemonade. And a quarter cup of lemonade at the end. Um, I went up to the, the people running it as well and had asked about, like, I was like, what do you want me to do with this script? Because is, is that just spoons? <laughs> it's got a bunch of spoons. Was, um, none of Wait, someone said it said sweatshop. It didn't say sweet shop. Did it say sweatshop? No, no, no. It says sweet. I, I love that though. How they just printed another P and they were like, yeah, whatever. It's it's the a the AI gods have willed it. It shall be so. To hand the kids like a end. Um. Hey guys, what's popping? I went up to the, the people running it as well and had asked about, like, I was like, what do you want me to do with this script? Because um, none of the things, like the special effects and things like that, none of that's there. What do you want me to do? And I was just told, do whatever I want. Do whatever you want. Today has been very stressful and frustrating, and we are truly sorry. 
Unfortunately, last minute we were let down. Okay, are you doing a refund? Are you doing a refund? Are you doing a refund? We will be giving full refunds to each and every person. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to lie, though. Just cancel it. Why did you open the doors anyway? Just cancel it. Yeah, you've done 800. 850 people went there. That is insane. I mean, okay, they, they did they did refunds. Fair enough. So, so sorry to everybody for, you know, this year and other disappointment. Oh my God, he's been hitting the vape. Bro, bro's been crying for like two days straight or he's been hit toking that Benjamin. So, so sorry to everybody for, you know, this year and other disappointment. We did try to continue the event in the best manner in which we could. However, again, I am deeply disappointed. Someone said YouTuber apology. No, it, it didn't begin with a deep sigh. It didn't begin with a deep sigh. What's happening? Technical issues. There wasn't any technology there to have an issue. Just shut it down. It was that bad. It was, it was funny. <laughs> not... it, was, it was that bad. It was funny. I like that. I like that. That's funny. That was funny. And my that, boys. That's something I'd say. Were, they walked in and they were just like, what the? What is this? They were... Yeah, could you imagine like the little kids tugging his dad's arm? I generated like, they'd literally be sat there be like, we, we could be all playing Fortnite, daddy, why are we here? Like imagine you actually try to get you, because the gener this next generation's absolutely fucked, right? Like they're in the house all the time, like literally just always on Fortnite. Parents try to get them out of the house, get them off TikTok, and then they get taken to basically like, it looks like fire festival, bro, it's awful. They were in stitches. Someone said AI generated apology. True. It was with it all. Um, a little girl, she was a bit disappointed. She She's only four, so she wanted to... She was looking forward to it the whole time. But she, even at the end, she was laughing. And if it was, that's, it was that bad, it was just... You can only laugh at it, really. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Full refunds, at least. Fair enough. You can't really do much worse than that. But just look at that. Look at that. What were they smoking when they thought that would be all right? It was originally advertised as a big experience with optical illusions, chocolate fountains, and sweets. Happiest uh, UK resident there. I, yeah, like, 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 where, like, what? You just bought, I, I swear, these props were probably handmade, right? They were handmade by a team. The props look good. The props actually look good. And I reckon they just finished the props and that was it. That, that, there was, there was nothing else. Look at all these receded hairlines complaining. Jesus, the UK is done. Oh my god, even TMZ covered it, bro. It's over. It's over. Dude, she's gonna be memed on. That's so messed up. Right, chat, I'm ending stream now because I have a podcast in half an hour with the old people. Uh, so I need to... Uh...